Hey everybody, this is Guy from SoCal Diesel. So there's been a lot of activity on social media uh, with regard to Duramax crankshaft failures, specifically thrust bearing failures. And uh, I'm here to kind of talk about the dirty little secret on the Duramax on why some of you may be seeing these failures. So we have two different dowel pins here. One is, uh, this is a late model version. As you can see, it's a solid uh, dowel. This would be used for theoretically centering the number five main cap, which contains your thrust bearing. And then we've got the one that was used in the earlier versions. This was typically used in anything earlier than an LML. So it would have been LMM all the way back to LB7s. So the dirty little secret is that this dowel measures about 707 and a half, 708, right in that area. The main cap is actually 721. So you've got a significant amount of clearance there. You know, we're talking about 13 thousandths clearance or so. So that means when you're trying to center this thing up on the block, this dowel pin really doesn't do anything for you. So in a minute, we're gonna show you the way that we set the thrust at SoCal Diesel, and hopefully this will help uh, some of you guys when you're assembling these engines. Okay, so what we've got here is uh, two of the thrust washers that's typically used in a Duramax engine. And one of these fits in a recess inside the back of the block. The other is gonna fit inside the main cap, you know, like so. So the trick is to get this main cap aligned with the thrust on the, on the block. And this is the issue we run into where those dowel pins are not actually positioning the main cap the way they should. So the way we do that is we'll typically put the cap into the block, we'll snug it down, put the cross bolts in, again, just snug, put the, uh, the, the main studs in, snug those up. They don't have to be tight, just snug. We'll typically use a piece of aluminum and your common BFH. This can be found at most hardware stores. Um, this one actually is one that we fabricated a long time ago. It works really well for setting a thrust. So the reason for the aluminum block is obviously as we're beating on it, we don't want to scar up the crank. We don't want to scar up uh, uh, any of the parts that we're using this as a drift on. So the idea is to align the cap with the block. We're going to start by pushing the crank as far backwards in the block as we can. And then we're just simply going to apply the the drift right here and the hammer and give it a little snap. And that is gonna be enough to basically align the main cap and the block. The flange on the crankshaft will take care of aligning those and so now they are precision. They are aligned right next to each other. All right, so after you've aligned the main cap with the block using your aluminum drift and your BFH, then you've torqued the cap completely down. Uh, typically, we torque these down to uh, about 190 foot-pounds and 90 foot-pounds on the side. Everything's nice and lubed up with ARP Ultra Lube. We've torqued the cap in place. Now what we want to do is we want to double check and make sure that we've got our thrust clearance. So we'll set up the dial indicator. You want to make sure the indicator is uh, somewhat you know, parallel to the axis of the crankshaft. And we're going to take a screwdriver and we're going to just drop it down in between a main cap or a main web on the crank and we're gonna basically pry the crankshaft back and forth inside the block. And so here you can see in this particular crank, we have this one set up about four and a half, five thou. Typically what we like to see is nothing less than three. Um, the Duramax factory spec will tell you anywhere from about one and a half on up to, I think it's 16 or 17. But for us, you know, somewhere between three and six is, is right about where we wanna see it. Now, I've also seen this sometimes where We've torqued this all down and we've moved the crankshaft back and forth and what we end up seeing is a little spring back. So when we pry the crankshaft back, it goes to a number and then it kind of springs back. And that's telling you that there's an issue with the thrust bearing. The thrust bearing isn't properly aligned in the block. Something isn't right. This needs to be a static measurement, okay? You pry it back and you walk away and it should maintain that measurement. Any spring back is gonna be what I would call an illegal measurement, right? It's not one that you're gonna to wanna to use. You need to kind of take it apart, find out what's going on there. So again, guys, we're looking for a static measurement here of three to six. 
Those would be the measurements that we use here at SoCal Diesel. If you don't have three to six, or you haven't checked this in the past and you haven't had any failures, the odds are you got lucky, okay? Three to six, guys, that's what you're looking for.